Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8. Agricultural Crop Production Exploratory Course for Grade 7 and 8, Module 4, Part 1. Our topic is Apply Safety Measures in Plan Operations. Determine areas of concern for safety measures. Interpret irrigation system plan according to established procedures. Identify work tasks in line with farm operations. A farmer's task depends according to the type of operation. A farmer who engages in crop production will be responsible for land preparation for planting, caring for the crops, and harvesting. The farmer must keep fields watered, fertilized, and free from weeds that compete with crops. In this lesson, we will focus on identifying work tasks in line with farm operations. Here are some qualities that should be possessed by agricultural workers. First, dexterity. Agricultural workers need excellent and hand-eye coordination to harvest crops and operate farm machinery. Second, listening skills. Agricultural workers need to work well with others. They take instructions from farmers and other agricultural managers. Effective listening is critical. Third, physical stamina. Agricultural workers need to perform laborious tasks repeatedly. Fourth, physical strength. Agricultural workers must be strong to lift heavy objects including tools and crops. And fifth, mechanical skills. Agricultural workers must be able to operate farm machinery and do routine maintenance on the machinery. Work tasks of farm workers. A. Steps in plowing. Clear the fields, cut all tall grasses, and remove stubbles that may interfere with plowing. Irrigate the field 2-3 to three days after glyphosate application. Maintain standing water at 2 to 3 cm level for about 3 to 7 days or until it is soft enough and suitable for an equipment to be used. Fifth, blow or rotobate the field to incorporate stubbles and hasten decomposition. How to reduce the risk of tractor accidents? 1. The operator should be physically and mentally fit. 2. Properly trained. 3. Be familiar with operator's manual. 4. Use tractor for intended purposes. 5. Check tractor before operating. Check safety check. Service walk around. Check the oil. Check the radiator. Check the air pre-cleaner and air cleaner. Check the fuel level and check the fire extinguisher. The next task is harrowing. The following are the steps in harrowing. Number one, harrowing and leveling the field dries using a hand tractor equipped with comb harrow to break and puddle clods of soil and incorporate organic materials into soil thoroughly. First, harrowing is at 14 days before transplanting or sowing. Second, harrowing is at 7 transplanting or sowing. Third, harrowing is at 12 transplanting or sowing. Level the field using wooden plank pulled by a power tiller after the third harrowing to attain uniform water depth. The next task of a farm worker is plating. Steps in plating. Pull out the seedlings at average of 15 to 30 days after seeding from nurseries and transport them to the main field. Second, in a modified mat nursery, seedlings are ready for transplanting at 15 to 20 days after seeding and seedling mats are transported into the field. Third, transplant the seedlings soon after pulling the nursery in a puddled and leveled field. Fourth, Transplant 2 to 3 seedlings per hill or shallow depth at optimum spacing 
of 20 cm by 20 cm or 22.5 cm by 22.5 cm. And fifth, handle seedlings carefully to ensure their fast revival and rapid growth after transplanting. The next task of a farm worker is application of a fertilizer. You have to first test the soil, second calculate how much fertilizer you need, third apply the fertilizer, fourth cultivate or till the fertilizer into the soil and around the plant, fifth watch for signs or of over or under fertilization while your plants are growing. 6. Clean up all your equipment as soon as you are finished using it. And 7. Store a new fertilizer in its original package, if possible, in a dry, safe place. Spraying Pesticides Steps in Spraying Pesticides 1. Read the label 2. Check the label 3. Use appropriate personal protective equipment or PPE 4. When a pesticide bottle is empty, rinse it. 5. Mix enough pesticide to treat the plant to be sprayed. 6. After application of pesticides, treated plants should not be handled until the spray is fully dry. 7. Most pesticides concentrates and ready to use. Formulation can be stored at home provided that the material does not freeze. And finally, harvesting. Harvest the grain at optimum maturity to maximize yield and minimize losses. The machine threshing should begin immediately after cutting and oftentimes scraps can be threshed in the field. Determine place for safety measures in line with farm operations. Place for safety measures in line with farm operations. One is storing four-wheel tractor. Safety tips for short-term machine storage. Keep the machine and supply of pulley well, lock storage, and remove the ignition key. To remove sparks from accidental short circuit, always disconnect the battery's ground cable. Do not store the machine with fuel in the tank inside the building where fumes may ignite. Turn the fuel shut off bulb to the closed position. Drain all fuel from tank and carburetor and allow the engine to cool before storing. Caution in storing four-wheel tractor. To avoid the exhaust fume poisoning, do not operate the engine in a closed building. To reduce fire hazards, clean the machine thoroughly before storage. And dry glass and leaves around the engine and mufflers may ignite. Long-term storage of a four-wheel tractor. Follow the procedures to ensure the machine is ready to operate when it is removed from storage. Check for loose bolts and nuts and tighten if necessary. Apply grease to machine areas where bare metal will rust and apply grease to feebot areas. Expand the tires to a pressure a little higher than usual. Change the engine oil and run the engine for about 5 minutes. With all implements lowered to the ground, coat any exposed hydraulic cylinder piston rods with grease. Remove the battery from the machine. Keep the machine in dry place and sheltered from rain. Cover the machine. Then store the machine indoors in a dry area protected from sunlight and excessive heat. If the machine must be stored outdoors, cover it with a waterproof tarpaulin. Chuck the machine up and place blocks under the front and rear axles so that all four tires are off the ground. Then keep the tires out of direct sunlight and extreme heat. Important! When washing the machine, be sure to stop the engine and allow sufficient time for the engine to cool before washing. Cover the machine after the muffler and engine have cooled down. In removing the machine from storage, check the tire air pressure and inflate the tires if they are low. Jack the machine up and remove the support blocks. Install the battery. Check the fan belt tension. Check all fluid levels and start the engine. Once outside, 
park the machine and let the engine idle for at least 5 minutes. Shut the engine off and walk around the machine and make a visual inspection. With the engine fully warmed up, release the parking brake and test the brakes for proper adjustments as you move forward. Caution to avoid personal injury. Do not clean the machine with engine running. To avoid the danger of excess fume poisoning, do not operate the engine in closed building without proper ventilation. When storing, remove the key from the key switch to avoid unauthorized persons from operating the machine and getting injured. Cleaning and storing your disc harrow. 1. Clean your disc harrow after each use. 2. Remove dirt and debris that has clung onto the equipment. 3. Prior to storage, look for signs or damage and make necessary repair or maintenance. 4. If you need to store your disc taro for an extended period, clean it with a low-pressure water spray. 4. If you notice areas where the paint is missing, sand down those areas and apply a fresh coat of paint to keep rust at bay. 5. Clean this prior to extended storage. 6. Store the equipment in an area with minimal human or animal activity. 7. Use tarpaulin to protect your disc harrow. The blades are best kept on a resting board away from the soil. Steps in fertilizer storage 1. Store fertilizers separate from other chemicals in dry conditions. 2. Provide pallets to keep large drums or bags off the floor. 3. If you plan to store large bulk tanks, Provide a containment area large enough to confine 125% of the contents of the largest bulk container. 4. Keep the storage area locked and labeled as Fertilizer Storage Area. 5. Never store fertilizer inside an abandoned well. Steps in Chemical Storage and Disposal 1. Limit the amounts and types of pesticides stored. 2. Storage of pesticides should not be in basement or areas prone to flooding. 3. The storage cabinet should be kept locked and the door to the storage area should be labeled a sign. 4. Mixing should be avoided in areas where a spill, a leak, or overflow could allow pesticides to get into water systems. 5. Absorbent materials such as reusable gelling agents, vermiculite, clay, pet litter, or activated charcoal should be on hand along with garbage can and shovel to clean up any spills. 6. Washing and rinsing of pesticide residues from application equipment, mixing equipment, or used in storing, handling, or transporting pesticide should occur on a cloth. 7. No pesticide application equipment should be filled directly from any source waters. 8. An automatic smoke detection system should be installed. 9. Personal protection equipment and first aid kit should be available outside the storage area. And 10. Rinse liquid pesticide containers 3 times when emptied. Safe Storage Conditions for Green Safe storage of rice for longer periods is possible if conditions are met. A. Grain is maintained at moisture level of 14% or less and the seed is stored at 12% moisture level or less. B. Grain is protected from insects, rodents, and birds. C. Grain is protected from rewetting by rain. The longer the grain needs to be stored, the lower the moisture content required. D. Grain and seed stored at moisture content above 14% may experience growth of mold, rapid loss of viability, and a reduction in eating quality. And E. The moisture content required for different storage periods. Recommendations on drying rice paddy Clean the grains before drying to avoid an even drying and wet spots. Dry the paddy immediately after harvest. Use the 18% moisture content if the paddy will be stored for a maximum of 2 weeks. 
when drying for milling, maintain the moisture content of 14% so the grain weight and milling yield won't decrease. When storing grains from 8 to 12 months, dry the grains up to 13% moisture content or less. For long-term storage for one year or more, maintain moisture content to 9%. Do not mix grains maintained at different moisture content to avoid cracking and always monitor the grain temperature and moisture content to prevent the grains from being exposed to excess temperatures and over drying. Using bag storage. Rice storage facilities take many forms depending on the quality of the grain to be stored. The purpose of storage and location of the store. The following are the safety measures to be considered in storing rice. One, bags should be stacked higher than 4 meter and the plastic bags is 3 meter. Two, bags should be stacked under cover. Three, one meter gap should be left between and around stacks and 1.5 meter clearance between the top of the stack and the roof. Four, bags should be stacked on pallets. Five, bags should not be stacked on a bed of rice stacks to keep it free from insect infestation. And six, bags should be stacked so that fumigation can be undertaken easily. A time to remember. This is Mylene Huliganga. Thank you for watching.